1.1e, whole numbers and decimals, subtract whole numbers. To subtract, we line up place values and work right to left. This is the same process that we used when adding whole numbers. Therefore, looking at example one, we would start by lining up 967 and then the 341, ensuring the place values are directly above one another. We can now subtract 7 minus 1 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 9 minus 3 is 6. Always make sure to write the larger number on top to ensure that you are able to subtract. The answer is 626. We will now look at another example. In example two, we have 5,037 and we are subtracting 2,419 from this. We line up the place values so that the ones are over the ones, the tens are over the tens, the hundreds are over the hundreds, and the thousands are over the thousands. We now start subtracting, but as you can see, we have seven minus nine. Since this is not possible, we will borrow. When we borrow, you go to the next highest place and lower it by one number, carrying this one back to the place you needed to borrow for. We now have 17 minus 9, which is possible, resulting in 8. Then 2 minus 1, which is 1. Once again, we have another place value, which we will need to borrow for. We cannot do 0 minus 4, so we borrow from the 5 and carry that 1 to the 0. We now have 10 minus 4, which gives 6, 4 minus 2, which gives 2. This results in an answer of 2,618. In subtracting whole numbers, remember to always line up place values and then work from right to left.